Welcome to this first of three tutorials on skin correction. This first tutorial is going to focus on giving global colour correction and colour adjustments across the skin to bring everything back to a more natural skin tone. We're going to use two reference points on the face and those reference points are going to be in the eye. So using the colour sampler tool that is selected here, we're going to select a point in the whites of the eye and a point in the pupil. You'll note I've also got the info panel open and this shows me exactly the values at the points I've selected. This is very important for this point of the colour correction and the colour adjustment. What I'm going to do now is select a curve, simple curve, and what they're currently set to default. First select the red channel, red's higher than any other channel in here. Clicking on this selection tool here, I now go and click inside the eye, inside the reference point, there. What I now do is bring this down until I get to a similar point for the green value. Maybe a couple of points higher, but that's where I want to be. Now I can look at this now and see that we're getting much closer to a much natural, more natural skin tone. What I'm going to do now is adjust the blue channel. And in the same way, we've selected this tool here. I'm going to click right into the white of the eye. But now you'll see that the blue needs to be brought up slightly, but only very slightly. If we go too far, the skin becomes very, very cold. So what we're going to do is have it around 177, 178 in this instance. So there we are, much more natural skin tone already. If we toggle the curve off, it's very reddish. It looks fine initially, but as you start looking at it for longer, you'll see that there's much too much red in there. And this becomes a much more natural, untanned skin. Now what we can do is look at the shadows. Now the shadows, again, maybe needs a little bit of a lift. Um, in the red or bringing the green and the blues down. So we can do the same kind of thing. We'll select the green channel. Kind of pick a tool there. Click inside and you can see that by bringing that down we've adversely affected the image. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it back where it was before. Now we seem to have a little bit of a green cast on it, so we'll drop it down just slightly, just slightly lower um, than the value we had before. So we've got 12, 13, now let's look at the blue channel. Selecting again in there and just bringing those points down. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, nice comfortable values there. Skin tone looks a lot more natural. And if we toggle it off, we've gone from having quite a bit of red in there to bring it down. So she looks quite fresh faced. Now there's still a little bit too much red in here, so I'm going to bring the next layer in, which is hue and saturation. Select this, select the red channel and then just take the saturation slider and bring it over very, very slightly. Not a huge adjustment at all. And you can see now that the difference between where we were before and where we are now gives us that natural, fresh, untanned skin. The final thing that we're going to do in this section is look at the possibility of adding some more contrast. Now we can do this with a very simple black and white layer. The black and white layer is overlaid and in this instance, if we take a look, this is just a default layer. You can adjust this to any of the other options or do a custom adjustment if you choose to do so. But for this purpose of this demonstration, we're just going to do an overlay um, using a default one. We're also going to set this to soft light, so you can see it starts to blend. 
Now this is a huge amount of contrast in here, and this is way too much. We can address this very simply by adjusting the opacity of the layer, bringing it down, watching until we get to a point where we have a nice amount of contrast in the image, something that gives us something to work with and gives us a little bit of boldness, a little bit of punch to the image. So that's the first section. This is the colour section. And what we're doing and where we've gone from is the original image to the first part of the beauty retouch. So that's it for this section. The next section we're going to go and look at how to use the clone tool and the healing tool effectively.